as Felix rises above 80,000 feet. The team need to reassure him that the visor will work when he jumps. If he didn't have faceplate heating, he'd be fogged up completely. Okay, Felix, uh, here's what we think we should do. He has to unplug his visor from the capsule power, allowing it to be powered by the pack on his chest. But that could cut his communication to mission control, and he may never get it back. Are you going to go for an umbilical disconnect? I'm calling you stand by reinforced. Yeah, he's going to the bathroom. It's a good time to do it. Felix has now risen past Joe's altitude of 102,000 feet. But he faces a serious dilemma. If he carries on, he may have no sight and no contact with his team. Abort and he may never get another chance. He needs to hurry up and find out if it's going to work or not, so we know if we're pressing on to 128. Felix, are you good there? Felix decides to risk it. Okay, you understand the procedures. If you thumbs up, we keep going. Thumbs down, we cut you loose. You guys understand that, sir? Ready? Roger. Go ahead, Felix. And good luck and God bless you. Can you hear me, Felix? I hear you loud and clear, Colonel. Felix, I'm reading you loud and clear, too. We have good communications right now, but... Plugged into the chest pack, he still has communication. Hold your breath and let's see if we get the, the condensation again, Felix. Hold your breath, let's see if we get condensation. Hey, Felix, it, it appears if it's, as if it's dissipating while you've got your breath held. Is that what you're seeing? It looks like, yeah. Well, I think that means that it's working. How you doing, Felix? Hanging in there, buddy? Okay, I think we should continue and hopefully our chest pack face shield heating is working out. Uh, Mike, let everybody know. Felix is going to jump. The world is allowed to watch once more. <laughs> 